Jesus. Everybody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Make a joyful unto the holy, our holy God. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. This is another day that the Lord has allowed us to come together in the house of the Lord. God is good, isn't he? Come on, I want you to type in there. God is good. Just tell somebody else, tell yourself, God is good. I need a mic up here. Amen. I need a mic up here. God bless you. We welcome you to the New Mission Temple Church of God in Christ on the corner of Happy and Healthy, 
4700 West Polk Street. Come with us as we go into worship on today. Amen. Because this is truly the day that the Lord has made. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for another glorious day, Father God, in you. And we pray, Father God, that you have your way today all around the world, Father God, in the body, Father God, and that you move expediently, Father God, and power in your people, Father God, for the task that is ahead, Father God, that we get on our feet, Father God as soldiers in the army of the Lord, and we come forth in the things of you, Father God, that we go into the highways and the byways and preach the gospel, compelling them to come in, Father God, that we feed the hungry and clothe those who are naked, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We need your help, Lord, and we ask you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, to give us that which is needed, Father God that we can do what you have compelled us to do, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for the ministries all the world, around the world, Father God, who has a love for you like never before, Father God, in this hour, Father God. No matter what has come up against us, Father God, we cast in our cares on you, knowing that you care for us in this hour, Father God. We trust in you, Lord, with all our heart, and we will lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways we will acknowledge you. Because we know, Lord, that you love us. And you sent your son down the cross for our sins, Father God. You said in your word, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, or stand in the way of the sinner, or sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water, which bring forth this fruit in this season, whose leaves should not wither, that whatsoever he does prosper. You said the ungodly is not so, for they are like the chaff tossed to and fro. The ungodly will not stand in the judgment or sinner in the congregation of the righteous. Lord, you know the way of the righteous, but the way of the sinner shall perish, Father God. But I'm praying on today, Father God, that you will help us, Father God, to catch that sinner that is perishing, Father God, before their life ends in this earth, Father God. That judgment be set on their lives, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for our pastor here, Lord. And we pray that you continue to give him the strength, Father God. And continue to allow the men to help him hold his arms up, Father God. As he continue to come forth in you, Lord, we pray that you strengthen him in his body, Father God. 
Give them the virtue that is needed, Father God. Give them the mindset that is needed, Father God. Give them the vision, Father God, that is needed for this hour, Father God. Because we realize today that we are living in the last days and perilous times has come. Men are lovers of themselves instead of lovers of God. Help them to form a godliness but denying the power. And we pray on today, Father God, that you give us the focus that is needed, Father God, in this hour because we know the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want because he maketh us to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth us beside the still water. He restores our soul. He leadeth us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley in the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. Yes. For thou art with us. Thy rod and thy staff will comfort us. Yes. Thou hast prepared the table in the presence of our enemies. Thou hast anointed our heads with oil. Our cups runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And we thank you for this opportunity to lift up our voices unto you and to say, we love you, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He just said the word, thank you, Lord. We're in a spirit of thank you, Lord. Hasn't God been good to us? You know, we missing a lot of people this morning. We miss our minister of music, Minister Phil. We say hello to you, brother, you and your wife, Judy. But we're here in a spirit of praise. You know, we always say we don't know this might be our last time. So we're going to give him praise. Whether there's many or there's few, we're going to give him praise. Hallelujah. Just wanna thank you forever. Y'all sing with me. And ever, and ever. All you've done, all you've done for me. All you've done for me. Blessings and glory. Blessings and glory.
this little part, y'all follow me. You keep on blessing me. You keep on blessing me. You keep on blessing me. Come on, somebody. There is a past to praise. Come on, he keeps on. Keep on, keep 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 on. Over and over. Keep on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. Over and over and over. And over and over. Come on. Uh, I think we get lost in the fact that we think God owes us something. But I'm here to tell you today, God don't owe you nothing. He don't owe you nothing, but he give you everything. He give you life. I need somebody to understand. I have everything that I need because God loves me. You are cherished and adored by God. And so, therefore, I love God. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. It's times like this, I look for Elder Wordlow on the side to be shouting out worthy, worthy. Come on, somebody just shout out worthy. All right. God bless you. Listen, I just want to offer you the opportunity to be a blessing to us in your tithes and your offering. There are three ways to give, and I ask that you will give as God has blessed you, amen, to give. You can cash app us at dollar sign NMT50. You can sell us at new underscore mission at att.net, and you can send us a check to New Mission Temple Church of God in Christ, 4700 West Polk Street. Chicago, Illinois, 60644. And right on your check, on the corner of happy and healthy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, anybody believe God is doing something? Yeah. Next Sunday is our 51st anniversary. And uh, 51 years, God has been, uh, has allowed us to be 
uh, as a church. And God's been good to us. And so we are thankful for what God has done. Listen, saints, and even in this time where we are thanking God, we're also praying to God. We're praying for those that are sick. Amen. Sister Allison Johnson, we're praying for her who went into the hospital last night. My dear niece, amen. She was scheduled to have a baby a month from now, but last night she had her baby early. So we thank God that, that there's a new perquette walking around this earth. Amen. But we're praying for a quick recovery. Praying for little Adrian, for Adrian by what we call little Betty, as she lays in the hospital. Amen. God touch her in the name of Jesus. In this COVID day, this time of COVID, it's still out here. We're praying. I'm praying for you. Listen, also, too, if you have a prayer request, amen, you can email us at new.mission50 at outlook.com. Let us know. We need your prayers. Or call us at 773-287-0817. Well, it's time for the word of God. Hallelujah. I need you to share this. I need you to share this page. And amen. There's a young minister who's anointed to do a mighty work for the Lord. He's from the west side of Chicago. Born and raised in this church. Amen. He is somebody. Amen. He is somebody. Amen. Minister, Minister Matthew Terry. After this last song from the praise team, I want you to receive Minister Matthew Terry as he comes and ministers the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my soul will sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody got a hallelujah on the inside of them? Yes, yes. Oh, my soul will sing. Hallelujah. The song says, Hallelujah. Oh, my soul will sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul will sing. Hallelujah, oh my soul will sing. Hallelujah, oh my soul will sing. Hallelujah, 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 oh my soul, oh my soul. Ah, 
Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. Father, you've been good to us. Father, you've been awesome to us. Father, you've been a good, good God. You've been a merciful and kind God. God, you brought us to the almost the 10th month of this year. In the midst of a time where folk are dying left and right. You allowed us to come. And we can say, I was glad when God said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So, Lord, if you help me one more time, I'll speak what I hear, God. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. If you will, can you go to the gospel according to Luke, chapter 22. And while you're getting that, I give honor to God and his beloved son, Jesus Christ, who is everything to me, and it should be everything to us. Amen. I give honor to our pastor, the one and only, yeah. Pastor Herbert Perkett Jr. Come on, come on. Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. This is our pastor. Amen. To all the missionaries, to our district missionary, to our state supervisor. Amen. To all, to everybody. Lottie, Dottie, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you have Luke chapter 22, verse 22, indicate by saying, Amen. 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 All of us have it together. Saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. I just want to preach from a subject entitled, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As you take your seats, just tell the Lord yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. I want you to understand, if you will, family, as I hasten uh, to my conclusion, uh, that over the last year and a half, we have experienced many challenges and difficulties. Uh, some of us have had those dark days when it seems like things are getting worse and worse. Then it is getting better and better. 
Uh, but I come to tell you uh, that no matter what the challenges are or what the problem is in your life, don't give in, but continue to say yes to the Lord. Uh, understand if you have been around or in the church of God in Christ for any length of time you would know about our founder uh, the Bishop Charles Harrison Mason uh, now understand that during his life Dad Mason taught us uh, many things and uh, glory to God he taught us about sanctification uh, he taught us about true holiness uh, he taught us what it means to pray and to fast uh, but one thing that he taught us uh, that was so quick, critical he taught us how to say yes to the Lord uh, uh, glory to God because if you know anything about the life uh, of Bishop Mason you know he faced uh, many challenges and difficulties uh, in his life but what made him uh, such a powerful man of God uh, was not all the churches was not all the millions of members uh, it was uh, not even all the auxiliaries or departments uh, that we have today but what made Bishop Charles Harrison Mason a powerful man of God was the fact that through all of his ups and through all of his downs in his life he still said yes to the Lord ah, is anybody in here that still got a yes in their soul I understand so as we look at our text today we see Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane and some scholars would saying that the Garden of Gethsemane uh, is located on the west side uh, of the Mount of Olives. Uh, and the Bible lets us know that Jesus is in the garden uh, praying to his father concerning uh, what he was getting ready to go through later that night. Uh, uh, because if we go further into this story uh, we later found out that Judas uh, would come and betray Jesus. Uh, and understand it's amazing to me uh, that he had the audacity to seal his betrayal uh, with a kiss. Glory to God. Uh, but yet Jesus still uh, had a yes. I uh, understand if you will that Jesus starts off uh, his prayer by asking, Father if thou be willing remove this cup uh, from me. Uh, uh, everybody in here should uh, after being uh, in this pandemic should have had that testimony where we ask the Lord, oh, could you move uh, uh, this cup from me? In other words, what Jesus was asking his father, if it would be possible, could we change the plan up a little bit? Uh, because understand this family that even Jesus knew what his assignment was. Uh, even though he knew what his assignment was, he still felt the pressures uh, and the weight of his assignment. Uh, understand they had a, dis even though his father uh, had a discussion, him and his father had a discussion in heaven uh, about what was getting ready to happen about the plan of how we were going to receive salvation. Yes, he was going to be born to a virgin woman named Mary. Yes, he was going to be born in Bethlehem. Yes, he was going to do miracle signs and wonders. But the one thing we have to understand, and Jesus felt it at this point, why he's in this garden is that though I did a lot of miracle signs and wonders, I still got to die. Oh, good God on here. I still got to die. I still got to shed my blood for folk who deserve to die anyway. I shouldn't be on the cross, but I'm taking I'm taking their sins and putting it on my back. That's why I thank God for Jesus. Uh, as we move further into the eight clause of this text. And, uh, uh, we don't see God responding. Uh, it's amazing to me. It's amazing uh, uh, that God is not responding to the prayer or the cry uh, of his only begotten son. Uh, uh, this was the one that when uh, John the Baptist baptized him and the clouds opened up and the sun started shining and the dove started coming down uh, on him to sit up. This is the same Jesus uh, that he said, this is my beloved son in whom I well please uh, even though uh, at the time of his baptism this is my beloved son but now that he's in the garden God is quiet toward his own son uh, glory to God uh, uh, glory to God even uh, even when his when he asks his father to remove 
this assignment from him. He just remains silent. Glory to God. But it amazes to me, even when his father is silent, Jesus still had a yes within him. Glory to God. I've come back to ask you today in the sanctuary and on Facebook, can you still say yes to God even when God is silent towards your situation or your current condition? Uh, glory to God. Can you still say yes? Can you still say yes? Uh, glory to God. Uh, but understand this family. It's easy to say yes to God uh, when things are going your way. Uh, glory to God. It's easy to say yes to God uh, when the bills are being paid uh, and your rent has been taken care of. Uh, now, it is easy to say yes to God when you're getting the promotion on your job. Uh, when you're getting that new job with that nice signing bonus. Uh, glory to God. And, uh, it's easy to say yes when the blessings of God uh, and when the favor of God is falling uh, like sweet, sweet rain. Uh, come on here. Uh, glory to God. It's easy to say yes when things uh, are getting better, uh, are going good in your life. Uh, uh, but I came with the question, uh, can you say yes? Uh, uh, yes to God when the storms of life are raging. Uh, in your life, can you still say yes uh, when it seems like you got more bills than you have money? Uh, uh, can you say still give God a yes uh, even when it seems like your family is acting crazy? Uh, uh, can you still give God a yes uh, when it seems like the church is more divided than it is together? Uh, can you still give him a yes in the midst of a pandemic in a godless society? Uh, can you still give them a yes? Uh, uh, glory to God. Understand that uh, uh, we got to get back to that uncomfortable yes. Uh, uh, that even when uh, I want to give up, I still have a yes. Uh, uh, glory to God. Even when I want to throw in the towel, uh, I still have a yes. Uh, even when I just want to throw the collar uh, off my neck, uh, I still have a yes. Uh, even though, uh, even though I'm going through in my life I still have a yes uh, because I understand uh, no matter what the trial is I still uh, have a yes uh, I have a yes Lord down in my soul uh, understand that the devil can't take that away from the saint when it's real uh, uh, glory to God when it's a real yes the devil can't take it away uh, and that's why we're losing our effectiveness and power in the church because we got focused that's saying yes in the church and saying yes to Satan all at the same time. Do I have a witness? I uh, understand why you find yourself, uh, why you still find yourself uh, praising God and cussing at the same time. Uh, can I ask you, have you gave God a real yes? Uh, I understand that we have altar calls, uh, but sometimes uh, we only come out of altar calls uh, because we want to be obedient to our mother or our pastor. Uh, not because we want to give God a yes, uh, but uh, things start to change uh, in your life when you start giving God a yes. Uh, I uh, say, anybody in here that got a yes? Yes, Lord, in, uh, in their soul. And, uh, uh, the song said, uh, you mostly hear it during uh, consecrations or when a bishop or pastor or elder getting ready to be ordained. You hear, yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart uh, to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Uh, completely yes. Uh, my soul says yes. Uh, but can I tell you something? It's more than a consecration song. It's more than an ordination song. But this kind of yes is a lifestyle. Glory to God. You cannot, uh, glory to God, serve the devil and still try to say yes to the Lord. Uh, glory to God. You cannot uh, enjoy the blessings of God uh, while trying to get the blessings of the enemy at the same time. Uh, glory to God. It's, not, it's time out for us to be straddling the fence. Uh, glory to God. The Bible says uh, you can't serve two masters. Uh, you are either going to hate one uh, or you're going to love the other. Uh, you got to make a choice. Uh, this is the time for us to make a choice. Uh, is Jesus or is it Satan? 
Ah, glory to God. Uh, we got to make the choice. We got to make a decision. Uh, uh, understand this is not the time anymore uh, for us to act like we're on vacation. It's not the time uh, for us to sit in holiness. Uh, it's not us the time for us to chill uh, and watch God do things. But can I tell you, you got to give a yes, a greater yes even now uh, because we're living in a godly society. Everything that this country is doing uh, is anti-God now. Uh, Glory to God. Everything, everything that we see and everything in the world is sort of anti-God. But do I have some real saints that steal? That's like Jesus. That's like our master. That though, glory to God, you disagree with me. Though you want to persecute me. I still got a yes. Glory to God. I still got a yes. Glory to God. Even when you want to make fun of me, I still got a yes. Uh, even when you want to do something to me that's terrible, uh, I still got a yes. Uh, because the yes that's inside of me uh, is the thing that's going to keep me. Uh, even when the storms of life is raging, I still got a yes. Uh, I got to close here now. Uh, so as I come to my conclusion, uh, uh, I understand that there's been some things <laughs> that you've been dealing with in this season. I understand oh, there have been some challenges in this season. There's been some things that the devil has been trying to do to discourage you in your life. But I've come by to tell you that no matter how rough this life may get, I've come to put the enemy on notice. Uh, that my answer is still yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that still got a yes? Uh, I may be persecuted, uh, but I still got a yes. Uh, I've come by to tell somebody. Uh, I know you've been mistreated. Uh, I know you've been talked about. Uh, I know you've been lied on. Uh, I know you've been betrayed. Uh, I know you suffered the loss of your family. I know that you've been cheated on. I know your heart may be broken. I know we're living in a world that doesn't want to talk to God, that even doesn't want God in the church. Oh, God. But I'm in the midst of it. My answer is still yes. 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 what's going on. It may not be popular, but I still have a yes. I may be, I may be ostracized, but I still have a yes. I may be beaten, but I still have a yes. I may be, I may be stripped, but I still got a yes. You can take your time. You can take your titles, but I still got a yes. Because my yes is real. I have a real yes. That if I, if I don't get everything, I'm still going to say yes to the Lord. Even if God doesn't bless me like I think he should, I still have a yes. Somebody say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. I, I want to tell somebody, stay encouraged, even though life may get rough, even though it may get tough. I still want to tell somebody to keep your yes.
There's a song that we sing when times get rough. There's a song that we gotta keep in our mind. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, don't stop your yes now. Come on, lift your hands and say yes, Lord. Come on, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, yes, Lord. Some of you going through something right now, and all that's going to make it better is a yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Come on, we have interior service. Let's have a virtual tarrying service. Yes, Lord. They used to tell us, open up your mouth and tell them yes. Open up your mouth and tell them yes. Open up your mouth. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Can't do nothing but say yes, Lord, on that message. Amen. Can't do nothing but say yes, Lord. Amen. Come on, somebody, lift up your hands right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are in your home. Some of us have some foolishness going on, and you wonder why things are not getting any better. You wonder why things are the way they are. And God is saying, all I want is a yes. All I want is you to yield yourself. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. 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 
Yeah, come on, open up your mouth. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. After such a dynamic message from a young man who truly has submitted his life to the Lord. Amen. It is incumbent upon you, wherever you are, no matter what you're going through, is to simply say yes. Because yes means I give up control. I yield myself to the situation. If a robber was to come up upon you and have the strength by whatever means they have, you would yield yourself and say yes. Well, see, God is such a gracious God, an awesome God, that he says, I want you to give it to me willingly. I want you to willingly give me your will, your life, and you get so much in return. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I beg you now to make a decision this day. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Choose you this day. All you have to do is just ask God to come into your life. Lord, forgive me of all my sins. I want you to say that prayer with me. If you've decided to follow Jesus, pray with me now. Would you just say this prayer? Father God, I'm a sinner and I deserve to die. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Wash me and make me whole in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray now that you become the Lord of my life. Take full control. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And Father, fill me with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And God, I will serve you the rest of my days. In Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. I believe somebody has said yes to the Lord. I ask you now to give us a call, 773-287-0817, and leave us a message. Amen. We will get back to you. Or you can email us at new.mission50 at outlook.com. And I pray that you will say, I want to be saved. And I just need to be connected. Well, come on. This is a day that the Lord has made. And you've just decided in your eternal destination. For the day that you hear my heart, the Bible says, harden not your heart. Amen. For God so loved the world that he did what? He gave his only what? His only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but what? have everlasting life. You can have everlasting life. Amen. And no matter what goes on, your heart says yes. Your will says yes. Your mouth says yes. And can I tell you this? Your actions says yes. Wherever he leads me, I'm going to follow. Do I have any followers in the house on today? Wherever he leads me, I will follow. Come on back and see us next week. Amen. We're going to be right here. Next week is our 51st first, first year anniversary, and we're going to be here giving God praise. Amen. The whole month of October, we're going to celebrate God for 51 years. Come on, New Mission. We're celebrating God, celebrating God for 51 years. Come on back and see us next week. We'll be here unless God come. Amen. For either for his church or for me, we'll be here. Amen. God bless you. Always remember, Jesus, Jesus. Always remember, Jesus, Jesus. Always keep him on your mind. Father God, we thank you for this day. 
We pray, God, that you will bless us as we go from this time. Guide us and keep us and bring us back at your appointed time. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. What I say unto one, I say unto all. Watch, pray, praise, read your Bibles every day, and be holy. God bless you, everybody.